I love that uh, Kaipo is always up to spread the good word about WSL One Ocean. And literally everywhere we go, you know, the WSL tries to, to do what they can to give back. Here we go. We're having a look at uh, Callum up and riding. Streaking down the line here. And straight up into the lip for that first turn. Throws the air. Italo, obviously one of the more energetic surfers on the planet. So we know he's going to go into attack mode early on. And there we go. But the wave attacks back. Unforced error there. Maybe uh, another example of just a little bit of over surfing. Maybe just over excitement. I mean, we love to see it. Sometimes it can bite you in the rear. Surfers now resetting themselves in the lineup. Italo looking at something. I'm always amazed at how casually these servers paddle into waves. I mean, that was minimal effort, and he's already up and flying down the line, looking for the ramp. Italo Whoa. soaring, but cannot get the land. That all black surfboard underneath his feet, designed, shaped by Timmy Patterson. Totally relevant, modern floater. Love to see it. Here we go. Italo Fayada now on his backhand. Quick snap to start. I mean, his setup turns throw so much water. On to his third. Out of fourth. Why not? Blow the tail. Here we go. That's Italo Ferreira style surfing right there. A four banger from the jump. High speed, high energy, big action. So Italo up and riding. Nice carving maneuver to start here. Sort of a setup maneuver for this one here. Just been re released out the back there again on the third one and boink uh, on that full turn. Just so much pop out of that blackboard. And, uh, yeah, another angle on the drone here. You can really see the fins releasing out the back of the wave. Just getting so much release. I think, you know, surfboard purists, fans of boards themselves and wow. shapers uh, have a lot to celebrate. When we, uh, when we saw Italo start riding for Timmy Patterson surfboards, Timmy Patterson, I mean, he has been an innovator for so long. I think way back in time, he made a board for Christian Fletcher called a Flying Saucer. <laughs> a precursor to kind of the grovelly small wave shortboards that we see now. And so while Italo's boards, you know, they look like pretty stock standard shortboards. Wow. Again, out the back. Callum. This kid's strong. I mean, you see him his wind up, comes around that section, that wave just collapsing around him. It's a no-go for Callum Robson. Grab one of his boards and kind of feel what's happening. I mean, there's a lot of hidden tech in there. It's, it's visible, the technology, you know, with the dark arts uh, finishing tech, but uh, there's, some, there's some hidden magic in those Timmy Patterson board. So maybe he, he's, he's brought a couple sparrows along with him, but maybe just adding to the quiver. Mm -hmm. All these things happening behind the scenes. I mean, these are all decisions these surfers have to make before, during, and after these events. You know, with a quiver of 50 boards to choose from, <laughs> might not be a, might not be easy to kind of figure out which board to ride. Cool. Italo overdoing it there. Bit of an oddity of a heat in the lineup right now. Luckily for all of us, there's nine minutes, 20 seconds to go. Let's see right here what happened to uh, Italo. Yeah, I like the first turn straight up into the lip floater. You can see he's a bit caught behind here. So probably not exactly where he wanted to be when he started that maneuver, coming up to it a little bit too late. Someone paddling really hard out the back. It's blue. Airwind. Here we go, Callum Robson. Powerhouse surfer representing Australia. Comes around that section. A beautiful piece of what we call it, coping to work with there. Flying through to this inside. Another big snap there. You saw a quick look from Italo out the back. He's seeing spray flying above. The wave that Callum Robson's riding, so nice surfing there. Strong, solid, pure, precise, all the way from the outside. No, uh, nothing wasted on that wave, but nothing forced either. So the judges are, are gonna really lean into the flow and power element of that wave. Uh, this was a, a fun wave to watch. Yeah, I think he knew as soon as he stood up, there's not much time in this heat, so he had to make this wave count. He didn't want to fall and he didn't want to oversurf it, but it was a really well-surfed wave for what he had in front of him. A couple of nice snaps in the lip, followed by a carve. Coming through to the inside here, another tag up into the lip. Just nice meat and potatoes surfing. I really like it. And uh, 
yeah, he couldn't fall. Another angle here. Looks like straight up into the lip there. Followed Ooh. by a second one. That section was so perfect. It was, wasn't it? And, uh... You know, just bringing it through to the inside. He, like I said before, he just he had to make this wave count. As soon as he took off, he knew it couldn't fall. Releases the fins there on that first maneuver, and he goes straight up into this second one. Beautifully timed hit there. Throwing a lot of spray as well. And nice carving maneuver here. Beautiful technique. Okay, here comes a wave. <laughs> Fastest surfer ever. Thank you. Okay, someone catch a wave. Yeah. No, no argument there. 4.30 on the clock. Here we go. Italo with priority. Now he is going to fly into this first section with authority. Big snap there. Comes around it. We're liking floaters today. <laughs> totally good with that. Backside floater with an airdrop. Extremely difficult maneuver to do. Comes out of it with speed banks. Three turns now. That right there is what Italo does. Mm. You give him the opportunity, he will make you pay. He absolutely destroyed that wave. There's nothing left. It's gone. It evaporated. <laughs> Goodbye. Because he knew there was only probably less than four minutes when he took off on this wave. Nice opening turn. Setting up this second section here for this beautiful floater. Great transitional move there. Carving back around. And then straight up into the lip there. Just see lots of spray and bringing it through to the inside here. Just so critical there on that last turn as well. And you can see it. He's stoked. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful first little carve here. And that was more of a setup maneuver for this one here. Releasing the fins a little bit. Smart surfing. Here we go. Callum. All right. Callum's got to answer back because we know that's going to be a big number for Italo. First turn, not great, but followed through with two solid hammers. I mean, we're, we're still feeling the excitement from Italo's last wave. Callum, he's, he's given it his all, but you can just feel a difference in energy and wave quality, even though he's still going through this inside. Ooh. So unable to uh, manage to stay on his board there. Callum Robson goes down. His last score is a 6 6 7. Italo was sitting on a 6-5. So uh, Italo's in the lead, and we think that lead's going to increase just on the strength of what he did on his last week. Here we go. Replay of Callum. I think this first turn probably didn't sit how he wanted it to. For me, it was just slightly maybe mistimed, but you can see he's, try he's getting around this section straight up into the lip. Nice carving maneuver there. Hits it again on the inside. And he's not finished yet. Bringing it through to this inside. He's got more work to be done here. He knows he probably needs to uh, do something big, knowing that Italo took off on that last wave. Goes to the sky, but just comes unstuck. Uh, this right here is going to be a video game style wave from Italo. <laughs> a beautiful set came through. It's time winded down. 30 seconds left. There's a nice little roller coaster for Italo Ferreira to start. <laughs> big bank. Another solid turn. Safe to say, Italo is in top form. I mean, you could tell on that 6-5 that I, he meant business. And uh, this is Callum now. Last ditch effort with four seconds left. Could have a ramp to work with. A little late to it. Solid effort from Callum Robson. Uh, unfortunately for him, he just came up against human cannonball. Italo Ferrer with a 6.5 and an 8.33 convincing victory.